Uh, let me begin by welcoming you to Shelter Freak. My name is Tunde Oyataru and I'm in charge of communication here. The purpose of today isn't to have a formal press conference as it were. It's to uh, encourage accessibility and to reset our relations with the press. Um, we spoke to some of you and we kept on hearing that you only hear from us when there's a crisis. And this is something that we want to change. So going forward, we hope that these press briefings are something that we have regularly. Let me kind of give you a context for how Shelter Africa has gotten to this point. Because I think context is always important for uh, interpreting events. Uh, over the last five to six years, Shelter Africa has grown by an average of 30% each year. So you're looking at an organization that over the last five years has grown 30%. Um, it has increased the size of what it does. Um, you talked about the uh, substantive CEO and the CFO. I think part of the, part of the restructure that will happen in the institution um, over the next few months is that the board will start a search for a substantive CEO uh, and a substantive uh, CFO. Uh, the CFO recruitment had already started, um, and I hope that sometime during this year we'll complete both of those appointments. In the interim, uh, we have a strong team in place uh, who know the business, uh, who have a strong uh, track record in the industry. So the business is a very, very safe and firm hands. Okay? Our practice, to the practice of the business today is as long as there is a chance that the project might survive, as long as the chance that, that the project might be viable, we keep restructuring. The gap that Deloitte have picked up is to say that we should revise the policy to put a limit to say when you have, when you have restructured three times or two times, now you need to do something else. And we take that on board, and part of the review of the systems and processes and internal controls that will take place is to really take that point on board. Okay? So that, I, I've kind of just given you a very granular and perhaps a very graphic example of how these things happen. A lot of our activities has been debt financed significantly over the last five years. We need to reverse and reconstruct the balance sheet to ensure that we're having a lot more equity and really depress our appetite for debt to, to, for growth. So those are kind of more strategic things that are likely, will, again, some of them will start now, but I think as a new management, the, the, the substantive management team get embedded, uh, we will see some, some bigger changes in how the, the business works.